amazing what fits in the back of a Jeep. Um, there's another sheet of four there, which I've added. So I've got... Well, my calculations are, we have 289 tiles that are 400 by 400 which in my mind means 6.25 per square meter so you divide that and that was 46.24 meters I need 60 meters I mean I, I guess I don't have to put any under my workbench um, I wonder if we missed any there because she has said it should be 64 46 I think she got it wrong it's not it's not 64 meters but 46 meters she remembered the other way around I think that's what happened so but I've got my workbench which is roughly six square meters. So if I take add six, that's 52. So I would still need to, to finish the job, I would still need to buy eight meters. And they have a, the same color but soft to walk on, so I could put them in front of the workbench but you don't want to drop stuff either um or maybe some more yellow there's not that much yellow here but then i don't have anything under my workbench so how do i roll out my toolbox Whew. She thought it was 64 meters, but it's 46 meters. So basically, coming through, coming through, Jeep, out of my way. We got enough. To roughly here you see what I mean though if you if I don't lay under my workbench the problem is they're like twelve thirteen dollars each so that's was it twelve? It's like seven seventy dollars or so more per square meter. Wow, seventy dollars a square meter. I damn cat in my shed. Damn cats! Ooh. Stinking, pissing, shitting cats. Um. How did that get in here? Must have been during the day when I left it open and I had to go to the shop or something. Or well, maybe today when I picked up the tiles. No more critters in my shed. Um, I'm still very, very blessed. They not donate it to me though. Um, I contacted them. Oh, did I tell you the story? I said I can't afford that. I'm on a pension and I have, looking after a disabled son. And um, then a week or so later, um, they emailed me and said, look, we have a pile of secondhand stuff here, which you're welcome to. 
Um, so I'm very blessed and grateful for that. Pick up the little rag rat. Mm. Okay, I don't know how to stop it. Um, yep, that's it. <laughs> I thought I'd turn the video off. So, I've got to, I'm going to pressure clean them first. They're actually not as bad as I expected because they said they're really bad. I was expecting them to be covered in thick old grease and dirt because he said, oh, they're going to need degreasing and pressure cleaning. But I think just a light degrease and a pressure clean will do the job, or even just pressure cleaning. Um, I'll do that outside. Um, good dude on the job, but then I'd spray water all over everything. No, it's not nice. Um, this stuff is most, as far as I know, chemical resistant. Um, they've got stuff laying outside, and it's not, it's UV treated, um, resistant to fuels and oils. Um, I don't know how fire resistant it is, but if your floor catches fire, I think you're in trouble <laughs> anyway. Um, and it feels nice to walk on, actually. It feels nice and soft um, compared to just stepping on concrete, which may help me with my back and my neck, um, having a, a smoother floor to walk on. So it was a surprise. But not 64 it's 46 meters um so I, I, I shot them a message so i don't i don't think i've missed any i think she's mistaking between 46 or 64 um but that's okay i'll just save up and buy some more because i'm imagining it would look really nice when they're cleaned I was planning to, where the car is parked most of the time, to like have a, a, a yellow bay where, that car, where the car is parked and also a yellow bay here under the hoist. You know, just like a, a rectangle, yellow rectangle, because there's not that many yellows. Um, But if I want the whole shed, I would need to buy, was it 46? Six. God, it annoys me when text messages stop the filming. <laughs> so now I don't know what I filmed up to. Anyway, I may have to buy 14 more meters when the time comes. I mean, I, I think I really like how it looks when it's done. Um, I, I like that you can just wash it and it's got like grooves underneath it so the water will run away and dry up. Um, it will keep... Yeah. Looking forward to laying it. I guess I could already start there if I vacuum that area. But I'll wait till all this crap here is cleaned up. I'm actually waiting for a set of shells from Amazon. Should be here the next week or so. And also, um, I had lots of old Tupperware. Like, like, like these ones. Lots and lots and lots of them. And... <laughs> My wife hated them. She hated the idea of me collecting all this old Tupperware to store screws and clips and everything. Um, yeah, everything for, is in this Tupperware. <laughs> Lynn just hated it. <laughs> bless, bless, bless your heart, honey. <laughs> so I ended up buying a wreck with 96 of, of these things. So I've got shells and, 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 and 96 of these coming. Um, I love my wife. She's awesome. Um, it was her idea because she wants it to look nice in here too. 
for me. Um, so I've got this to clean up. I've got this wire for power points and lights. Um, yeah, I really like how it looks, you know, even just from here. I'm looking at that bit of flooring. I mean, look how cool that looks. Look how cool that looks. 488. Yeah, I'm right, right. 6.25 tiles per meter. But I, I guess I'm missing little bits around the edges because the slab. I, I guess I could stay away from the wall a touch. Or just. Yeah. I don't have to go right up against the tin, which is where the slab stops. Oh boy. Um, the company's details are linked below. Am I still filming? I will link below. Um, if you like these, um, the look of them, and you'd like them for your place, um, I will do an install clip. And um, what do they call it? A, not slow motion, a um, t time lapse uh, of some. I'll, I'll do I'll do an install clip and time lapse of that that car bay over there, the parking area in the corner, and um, so you can see for yourself. Um, I brought lots of degrees of, I may just put it in the uh, soap part of the washer, pressure washer, and then let it, you know, lay a heap of it outside, let it soak, then come back and then put the high pressure nozzle on and clean it. Mm. Not 64, 46. Um, bless their heart, though, for thinking of me for that. Bless you. I could otherwise... I was thinking of resining my floor, but it'll be very slippery. Um, this stuff, if you spill oil on it, you just put degreaser over it and hose it, and it will run out to the edges um, it, I don't know how we would work in a full-time workshop but my workshop it'll be fine um, people use them for outdoor entertainment areas uh, pergolas all sorts of places and they don't just have these they also have softer ones they have checker plate type and they even have some that look like slate um, which are very nice, which, oh, <laughs> but they cost a bit more. They were $17 a tile, but they would look great in our pergola out the front. Um, that is it tile or per meter? I will have to, <laughs> I will contact them. Maybe it's per meter. Or tile. I'm not sure now. Um, the, I'll put some pictures of um, me loading them in O'Connor, Perth, WA. Um, they look like they had lots of stock. There's lots of different colours. Go to their website and check it out. Um, and they're so easy to lay. There's no gluing, nothing. They just sit there and they lock together with, with little locking pins. Um, very simple. Um, and, they'll, you know, you have to lift them up to separate them. Um, they'll ne once it's laid, it'll be just like one big solid floor. And if anything gets damaged, you can basically just hook it up, lift it, take that bit out and replace it. Um, but I just keep looking at it and thinking, wow, if that's clean, 
How good that would look. How good would that look, eh? I'll find out how many yellows I've got and then work out the patterns on the floor. Mm. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. It's raining cats and dogs outside. Um, but smart. Oh, I guess they were laying in the rain. It didn't make much difference. So, um, oh, no, it's a dry in here. I did hurt myself a bit loading. And I've got to go and pick up our princess at school. And I may just call it a day and then continue the cleanup tomorrow. I really need that shelf. <laughs> um, I really need that shelf. But it may not get here for another week. So I may just put stuff on top of the workbench and start laying the floor. All these tubs and stuff up. All the small ones, they can go in the bottom part of that cabinet. Um, all the other bits and pieces that... Some of this, you know, needs to go on the shelf. A fast car charger. I've also, <laughs> during the cleanup, I brought that because I thought my other one was stolen or missing. But I found it in the cleanup. Um, panel beading tools, etc. I did a fair bit of body work in my day and spray painting. I've done all that. I worked at Jinjin Panel and Paint, so I know my way around that as well. I love the sound of rain on the roof, huh? on the thin roof. That's what I grew up with. We had a tin roof in, on their, in their house. At night time it was really relaxing. A bit like, what do they call it? Grey noise. Huh? A bit like grey noise. Um, oh well. Bye for now. Signing out. Rick from Aussie Jeep Muscle. <laughs> um. Yet another day. Um, I shall upload again this weekend when this floor is clean. I'll vacuum it before I lay the tiles, that's for sure. Um, I've got to get this engine up off the ground. That won't be hard. I can just hook it up on, my, on these and just lift it up off the ground while I lay. No problemo, no problemo. So, um, I, I can imagine, <laughs> I, I can do a lot with these lifting stuff. I mean, I may even make a frame. So, I don't need to use the engine hoist, I can just like put an extension on one of those arms um yeah so um and there's no reason why i wouldn't be able to lift an engine out of one of these or would that be too unbalanced i don't know has anybody ever done that does anybody do that lift engine that engines out with a car hoist it makes sense. Or maybe if you like put a beam across from that side to that side with like a, a hook in the middle. That would work. And then you could hook your chain to that. Right? And then you and then hook that to it. And you could lift your engine out with it. Lift up a car. If you can lift up a car, surely. Um, if you lift up a car, surely you can lift out the engine. I reckon that'd be a good idea to have a steel beam from one to the other. 
and then um, have a hook with a chain and it'd be really smooth lift up too a lot better than that and then just push the car back I guess anyway just a thought always thinking 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 anyway love yous and leave yous um, see you again in a few days don't forget to subscribe and click notification bell so that you know when I do upload. Um, laying these floors, really exciting stuff. Testing the hoist, exciting stuff. Um, lots of good stuff coming up after that. I've got loads and loads of Jeep parts. It said something about size on the video. Um, I'm going to do tank tuck on the red one. Um, and change the fuel inlet. I got fuel pump, fuel regulators, throttle bodies, intake manifold. <sighs> wow, so much coming up, guys! So much. Um, and I'm all gonna make that stuff myself. Um, so if you like modifying Jeeps and you want to learn how to do that, um, I'm gonna load small clips onto YouTube. But if you really want to see everything in detail, you may have to go to my join my Patreon um, and see the full full up load up um, or a different website. I don't know yet. Um, YouTube is starting to become very strict and uh, difficult to work with with monetization and all that stuff. And now taxation is now included. I, ha I still haven't given them my tax details. I don't know why I need to give my tax details to America and all my private details. So I'm not doing it. I'm not. Um, they, they can take their extra tax if they want to. Um, so I'd rather open up a different website, even my own, whatever, and then load there. And then you guys can, if you like my YouTube, click the link below and go to my website and then I can swear and play music and do all sorts of shit um, without being slapped on the wrist for it. That's the plan anyway. Um, so from, <laughs> here we go again, Aussie Jeep Muscle Headquarters. Until next time. Mabu, hi. <laughs> Trying to copy my wife's language. <laughs> my God. I don't know. I can't. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> See you later. I'm going to get new too soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs>